previously on Dragon Ball Super. Goku joined Vegeta on Beerus' world. And after doing surprisingly dangerous housework, the two Saiyans endured a grueling training regimen in the hopes it would lead to a whole new level of power. While far away in another star system, the remnants of a once mighty army seem to be hatching plans for a comeback, and the appearance of two mysterious figures signaled a serious threat for the universe. <sighs> yes, this must be it. This time I'm sure. Go on. <sighs> Guess I was wrong. The adventures continue now. Previously on Dragon Ball Super, Goku and Vegeta continued training on Lord Beerus' world far across the universe and were told they had much to learn. You two have definitely improved since our last sparring session, which counts for something, I suppose, but you're still woefully lacking in speed. Look, I even had time to sign both of your tops. <laughs> While Earth's strongest fighters were away, soldiers still loyal to a long-defeated foe used the Dragon Balls to bring their evil emperor back to life, though his body was far from whole. With state-of-the-art regeneration technology, one of the greatest villains the universe has ever known was restored to his full and terrifying form. It's a rare feat to catch me by surprise. I've actually been brought back to the living world. Previously on Dragon Ball Super, Frieza was brought back from hell with Earth's Dragon Balls, and he wasted no time plotting revenge against Goku. If I train in earnest for the next four months, my body should be capable of an enormous leap in strength. I can easily shatter through the power ceiling of that monkey race. <laughs> I can't wait to reap the harvest this training will bring. Those four months came and went as Goku and Vegeta continued their own training across the universe and had no idea Frieza was headed for Earth. With no guaranteed way of contacting the Saiyans, Goku's friends gathered to confront the Frieza force on their own. <sighs> All right, guys, they're here. But that's massive. Can this resurrected Frieza really be that strong? Hell was a womb, and the dream of vengeance my umbilical. Now I am reborn and will suckle the sweet milk of victory. <laughs> the dreaded Frieza Force descends on Earth. Now. Previously on Dragon Ball Super, the resurrected Frieza arrived on Earth to take revenge. But Goku and Vegeta were training on the other side of the universe and unaware of the invasion back home. And the chances of contacting them became even more daunting when Whis transported them to a different dimension. All right, soldiers! Show no mercy! Without Goku and Vegeta, Earth's remaining warriors were left to fight Frieza's army on their own. And despite being vastly outnumbered, it seemed Gohan and the others could prevail. But there was one more soldier in the Frieza Force who had yet to show his power. A formidable one who had spent the last several months training with the evil Emperor himself. Go on, here's the Sinsu Bean. Eat it! Who is that bastard? If I kill them all myself, will you make me your commander? Your right-hand man? Tagama attacks <laughs> now. Previously on Dragon Ball Super, Frieza's soldier Tagama proved his might against Earth's warriors. But then, Tagama's body was taken over. I'm captain of the high-level executive class Ginyu Force! Ginyu! Ginyu's skills made Tagama's body even stronger. Yet despite Gohan's lapse in training, he reclaimed the advantage by going Super Saiyan. But the sight of Gohan showing mercy enraged Frieza as it echoed the humiliating mercy Goku showed him. Frieza pummeled Gohan and was about to deal a fatal blow. Now die! Piccolo, why? The battle continues now. Previously on Dragon Ball Super, thanks to Gohan's boost of energy, Goku locked on and transported himself and Vegeta to Earth so they could face the resurrected Frieza. Here at last, Goku. I've been waiting a long time for this. 
Finally, I can claim the revenge I've dreamed of for all these years. Their first battle brought about the age of the Super Saiyan. And now, Goku isn't even sure he needs that power. Will this rematch be the dawn of something new? Very well, the blackhead Goku's pelt will look just as good on my wall. Their fight begins now. Previously on Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> the battle between Goku and Frieza, an epic grudge match over 10 years in the making, had finally begun. After their first round resulted in a stalemate, Goku revealed a power level never seen before. <laughs> Learning from the divine energy he harnessed in his fight with Beerus, and from his recent training with Whis, Goku transformed to a level beyond even Super Saiyan God, a transformation he could make on his own without help or rituals. So what are you calling this, Super Saiyan with blue hair dye? <laughs> That's funny, I'd say it's a little more complicated than that. I know you don't have the patience for the full story, Frieza, but I got a taste of something called Super Saiyan God and then tapped into that power on my own, and it's the Super Saiyan level of that. Frieza claims he's been hiding something too. Could it be enough to match Goku? Well, I've held up my side of the deal and shown you my real power. It's your turn. Previously on Dragon Ball Super, as his battle with Goku ramped up, the resurrected Frieza unveiled the results of his intensive training and transformed into something far beyond his previous form. I know gold's a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasped my new position at the very top of the universe's pecking order. And now for the sake of your feeble little mind, we can keep the name simple as well. We'll call this Golden Frieza. With Goku powered up to his own self-made version of Super Saiyan God, the two titans appeared at first to be evenly matched. But as the fight raged on, Golden Frieza's power proved to be even greater than Goku thought, and gradually, the evil emperor wore Goku down. If Frieza can't be overpowered, is there another way? The battle continues now. Previously on Dragon Ball Super, the titanic battle between the resurrected Frieza and Goku began, with each more powerful than ever before. But Frieza's new golden form proved even stronger than Goku expected, overwhelming the Saiyan hero. I'm ready to claim my victory. Die! However, the resurrected Emperor's lust for revenge blinded him to his golden form's fatal flaw. It uses a tremendous amount of power. Goku exposed Frieza's weakness, and it seemed the old arch-rival had lost once more. Until... Previously on Dragon Ball Super, the epic battle against Golden Frieza came to an explosive conclusion. Damn you, Goku! And so peace was once again restored to Earth. Um, any food you have a big fight is always the best food you've ever had. Enjoy it while you can, Goku, because an exciting and challenging new adventure is about to begin now. Hey, it's me, Goku. A new god of destruction has shown up on the scene, and this one's itching for a fight with Beerus. When you've got two destroyers going fist to fist, things can get crazy fast. He looks a lot like Beerus, too. I mean, with a few dozen extra pounds. Wait, is that Beerus' brother? And what does the sixth universe mean? 